Example 7.4 shows a problem for the usage cost estimates. So in this case, the benefits are implied. They're not given, uh, they're not stated in the problem. So if you look at the table right here, you will see that there is an initial in incentive. There's a tax incentive cost. There are resident entrance fees extra sales taxes and then with the study period okay so the initial in incentive would be we can say your P then we have a tax incentive cost which will be uh, your A so let me write that down we have a P we have an A because it's per year and then we also have these that are per year so we can say that these are also A's but the difference here is that if you read carefully your because uh, these are not costs it only says fees and taxes so we cannot say that this is an annual cost okay although there's there are resident entrance fees but look at what it says in the paragraph uh, well the EDC for California uh, it's operated as a not-for-profit corporation it is seeking a developer that will place a major water park in the city or county area. Financial incentives will be awarded. In response to a request for proposal to the major water park developers in the county, four proposals, have them here, have been received. Um, well, I'm gonna skip that, because then it says, approved and in-place economic incentive guidelines allow entertainment industry prospects to receive up to $1 million cash as a first year incentive award and 10% of this amount each year for eight years in the property tax reduction. Each proposal includes a provision that residents of the city or county will benefit from reduced entrance or usage fees when using the park. This fee reduction will be in effect as long as the property tax reduction incentive continues. The EDC has estimated the annual total entrance fees with the reduction included for local residents. Also, EDC estimated the benefits of extra sales tax revenue. These estimates and the cost for the initial incentive and annual 10% tax reduction are summarized in this table. Okay, so what does that mean? That these two, I'm going to put it in, uh, I'm going to keep the yellow, the resident entrance fees and the extra sales taxes, both of them are implied benefits. They're not given in the table as benefits per se, but it says here that they were estimated as benefits because because of the, the construction of the major water park, there will be, uh, and all of the incentives here, there will be reduced entrance fees. And also there are benefits of extra sales uh, tax revenue. So these right here are implied, oops, implied benefits. They're not given to you in the table as, they're not labeled as benefits, but they can be seen as benefits um, coming from something, as a result of something else. Okay, so in that scenario, you would only compare the alternatives against each other, no, do nothing. And the other little change is that we will be using the use th these are usage costs instead of benefits because they're not labeled as benefits okay so it'll be the difference of the usage cost of uh, alternative 2 minus alternative 1